This video ain't about me right now, but I gotta show off my waves. Hold on. Let's take a minute to just look at my waves real quick. I know this video ain't about my waves, but I just want y'all to see them real quick. All right. Everybody else get to shine. Why can't I shine? Huh? How about that? YouTube, what's up? It's your boy 360 Jeezy. And today in this video, I did somebody special. He's a Bay Area rapper. He has this type of Drake type of sound to him. He sings and raps real dope. If you don't know who he is, please go to his Instagram. It's called Marty Obey. His real name is Marty JR. I did a burst fade, came out real clean. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Notice how I turned the camera up when I said thumbs up, cause you're supposed to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. But right now, it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm about to be out of here, man, because I just, I just committed a crime right now because my waves is killing them. Not that somebody is chasing me, but my waves is killing them. Stay tuned. Alright you two, to start off this haircut, I'm going to be using my Andy Slimline Pro LIs. And what I'm doing with this burst fade is basically setting uh, a round guideline around his ears. I'm not setting it too high because I want the transition to show more than the actual ball guideline. Using my Andy shavers, I'm going to bald out the bottom of it just a little bit more. Now with the lever open, using my Oster Fast Feeds, I'm just going up about an inch and making sure I use my corners and going around the, the shape in which I set the first ball guy on. With the one guard open, same thing, all right? You're going up about an inch, making sure that you're using your corners because it's kind of hard to, you know, create a circle if you're using the full blade. Creating the corners allows you to take off a little bit at a time so you can bend those corners that you need to. Using the two guard open, I'm going straight up, creating another guideline, and uh, yeah, making sure that I'm coming off of the head instead of digging in. With the three guard open, I'm knocking off the bulk from the top. Um, I'm not necessarily setting in a guideline, I'm just kind of blending it in so I could come up behind it with the clipper over comb. Dropping down to the one guard closed, what you're doing is softening up that middle line. All right, this is not gonna take it out. This is gonna soften it up so you can come behind it with the next guard. Using the zero guard close in a flick out motion, it's time to flick out that middle line. With the flick out motion, you wanna make sure you're using your corners because again, this is a, a circular blend and you don't wanna use the full blade because the full blade will take off uh, more in areas that you don't want it to, to take off. So you might wanna really pay attention and use your corners in that flick out motion, especially when it comes to rounder blends. Mm -hmm. 
Now with the lever closed, using your corners, all right, in a flick out motion, knock out that bottom line. Right here, I see some bulk in that area, so I'm gonna take my one guard open and kind of create, you know, a, a better transition. Right now, I got on my two guard, again, kind of, you know, smoothing everything out, making sure uh, all the bulk is uh, pretty much gone. All right, like I always say, I showed it to you on the left yeah, side, so I'm gonna speed this side up. Right now I'm using clipper over comb technique just to uh, shape the hair into the direction that I want it to go in. Uh, with my client's head, I don't really want the, the, the whole shape of his head to be boxy, so I'm kind of giving that round look. All right, I saved this part for last, um, the front line. Basically, what I'm doing is knocking back some of that, that hair that's just sticking directly out. My client was like, look, I mean, do what you need to do to, to, to make this cut look good. So this is a little bit of my technique to, to use if you guys have that, that client to where his hair just sticks straight out. You could knock it back, round it off with the uh, clipper over comb, and you know, make it look 10 times better by doing this technique. Plus the line will come out 
crispier if you do it this way. Here I'm using Tomb 45 Shade Gel. If you guys don't know where to get it, you should already know by the little logo that's at the bottom, www.tomb45.com. And uh, yeah, it's a great shade gel. Make sure you go get some, pick it up. Alright, my client came through looking like he was a backup hype man for Soulja Boy, so I had to show him who he really is by giving him this fresh cut. Can I get a drum roll please? YouTube, this is the cut. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Shout out to Marty JR. Alright, he sings with Baby Bash, all right? He performs with E-40, I Am Sue, all of these Bay Area rappers. Man, go check him out on Instagram. Go check him out on YouTube. Your boy is off the hook, but it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here. Cheers.